Hey guys, this is Uwe Ostmann from Extreme VI. Last week I posted this chart here and it created a lot of interest and I thought it might make sense to give you a little bit more information. So to get to this chart, what we did is we pretty much took three sets of these LT4 injectors, a factory set the way you can buy it at every dealership, a competitor set of eight injectors, and one of our brand new XDI 45% over LT4 injectors. These sets are represented by different curves in different colors. So the competitor set, the red one, pretty much is this shape. The factory one is the blue. And the XDI 45 set is the green set. So what does this all mean? Pretty much the x-axis in this chart is the injector pulse width. What we did is we took all these three sets of eight injectors and measured them single measurements at a steady pressure a different pulse width in 0.5 millisecond steps all the way up to 9.5. So we measured three times eight injectors which is 24 injectors but we just got three curves. What that means is we pretty much took the spread that's a statistical value between a set of eight where we measured the difference between the lowest flowing injector and the highest flowing injector. And that spread as a percentage is drawn on the y-axis. Back to the chart, what that means, pulse width pretty much represents a longer pulse width, represents your wide open throttle area, and middle pulse width represents your cruising, your daily driving, and the low pulse width that we have circled in green here between 1.0 and 1.5 milliseconds represents your idle. So what you can see here, the stock injector set, the blue one in the idle area, has a spread of around 4 to 5%. Again, 4 to 5% means in a set of eight, the lowest flowing injector and the highest flowing injector at one millisecond pulse width have a spread of 4 to 5%. The competitor injector in this area has a spread of 20%. Again, lowest flowing injector and highest flowing injector in the set of eight is a 20% difference. Our XDI 45s in the idle area are around 5 to 6%. So 5 to 6% between the lowest flowing and the highest flowing injector. When we go to wide open throttle, the competitor injector is in the area of 9%. So now just keep in mind, wide open throttle, 9% difference. You have eight cylinder on this engine. 8% difference between the eight cylinders means that one cylinder is 8% leaner than another cylinder. The stock injector in this area is in the area between 6 to 7 percent and our injector even in the wide open throttle area of 7 to 8 milliseconds is around 2 percent. To give you an idea what that means in your car, when you have 9 percent spread at wide open throttle you might burn up cylinders because one cylinder gets 9 percent less fuel so he might get hot and might detonate the other one might be rich, it gets 9% more fuel. It might puddle, it might burn bad, not make power. Wide open throttle is not so bad. But in this idle area, 20% between eight injectors, that doesn't idle at all. So this chart is meant to show that our XDI 45 injectors at wide open throttle are even better than a production set and at idle they are like a production set. On this chart, I want to show you how we measure the actual injection rate on our own OEM equipment. The top curve, like some of you have guessed already, is the electrical signal to the injector solenoid, which comes from the ECU. You have your boost current, you have your pull-in current, and you have your hold current. The actual pulse width is pretty much the rise to the boost until the downslope of the hold current. So all these colored curves, what's that? That's the actual flow of the injector over time. So it's not just a single shot, it's the rate how the flow exits the injector. So this is injector opening, this is the linear part of the injector where it just stays open, this is injector closing. Important about this is you always want every injector to have opening at the same time and closing at the same time. So all these squiggly lines that are roughly on the same level, 
that is one of our upgraded sets. So as long as they're in the same ballpark, they flow the same. This pinkish curve down low, the red curve, that is a factory injector before it has been modified. So what you can see is that they raise at the same time, they open at the same time, like the factory injector, and they close at the same time. The area under this curve, that's your absolute flow, what you usually measure. Okay, this is a measurement of a competitor set. This bundle of squiggly lines, that's each of these eight injectors. The blue line is a factory injector before modification. And what you can see here, like I told before, you want them to rise at the same time, to open at the same time, and you want them to close at the same time. In this particular set that we have measured on our equipment, you can see that each of these eight injectors closes at a different time. Looking at the numbers, this is a measurement at 2.5 milliseconds. We measured the gap between the injector that closes the fastest and the injector that closes the slowest, and we have a difference of 228 microseconds. That might not sound much, but at 2.5 milliseconds, that is 10%. So what does that mean? I told you the area under the curve is the injected quantity. That's where your 10% spread is coming from. Here is the bottom line. We have used our know-how, combined it with state-of-the-art OEM technology, to provide you the best injectors on the market.